Hey everyone, Matt here from Herbal House, and in this video we're taking a closer look at the Vivo Sun 19 litre DWC system. So these are a complete modular system, standalone. They have everything you need to get up and running, but why would you want DWC or hydroponics in general? Now the idea is with a hydroponic system, it is gonna be so much more efficient. You no longer have a growing medium such as soil with all the variables that come along with it. It's self-contained and very easy to control. So with a particular system like this, as you can tell, they are based off a vessel such as a bucket with this convenient carry handle. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly break down how all these parts work in conjunction, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to put them together. But before I get right into that, they do come in a single pot system that you see here, and they do come in a four pot system, which I have here. Now the four pot system is exactly the same, just four of these with an air pump to run all the lines for the entire system. So let's get into it and show you guys how to set one up. Okay, so now that we've unpackaged everything here, I'll just run through what we've got here on the table. So of course we've got the variable speed air pump, we have the air line, we have two check valves just here for the air hoses, we have four rubber grommets, air stone, we have this tiny little elbow here, and we have this little packet. Now I have pulled everything out of its packets, but I won't do this just yet, because there's a tiny little red bead in there for the water level indicator, and I don't want to lose that. Uh, we have the irrigation ring and the feed hose for the irrigation ring, the water level in indicator tube, clay balls, and of course the lid, which has got the basket integrated into it. So let's get right into installing it. I'm gonna start with the water le level indicator, sorry. But first of all, you want to install these four rubber grommets. So if I just rotate the bucket over here, you're gonna see we've got a hole down the bottom and we have three holes along the top here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna really quickly pop these rubber grommets in. Quite simple, really. You're just going to generally twist and push until they find their way in, like so. Okay, so that's all four grommets. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move on to the water level indicator equipment down here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this uh, elbow here. Now you'll see it's actually got a piece here which is going to go through the rubber grommet at the bottom. And we have a, what we call a push lock fitting on top. So I'm just gonna take the blue hose, either end, either way, can't go wrong. I'm just going to push that in there. You'll feel a nice clicking sensation and that is indicating it is in there tight and it is not going to come out at all. So. Just with that in mind, we're gonna take it over here to the bottom O-ring, or grommet, sorry. And I'm just going to push that in there. If you do struggle with these lines or anything like that, pushing through the O-rings, a bit of just show or anything along those lines will help it go in there nice and easy. So I've just put that in there, and what you'll see is this blue hose now actually lines up with the top grommet right here. This is when it comes over to this bag here, which we don't wanna lose anything. So I'm gonna take the little red bead, and I'm just gonna drop it straight into the top of the blue hose real carefully. Excellent, so that is not gonna go anywhere, it's just gonna sit in the bottom of that elbow until we add water. I'm gonna take the Lego hand looking piece that came out of the same bag. I'm gonna just pop that in the O-ring and then clip on the blue hose, like so. Easy as that, so that is our water level indicator installed and ready to go. Okay, so once you've got that in, once you've got that set up, sorry, we're going to move on to installing the irrigation ring. So in the top of your basket here, I'll just flip this over so you can see, we've actually got this little hole here. Now on your one, there will be a piece of plastic in there. Just carefully snip that out. It's just a little blanking cap. And what you're gonna do is just take your irrigation tube, this one here, like so. Now this end is gonna be in the bottom of the bucket. So we're just gonna poke this up and through the base of the bucket. So it's coming up through the top here. And we're gonna take the irrigation ring, same story, it is a push lock fitting. And we're just going to push it on, nice click, and it is ready to go. Now, if this hose isn't perfect, it's really easy to just rotate this hose to suit your needs. But effectively, that's just gonna sit slightly recessed in this basket like so, and ready for us to add the clay balls. But with that in mind, I'll just show you down here. We've got a smaller fitting on the side of this push lock fitting down here and an open end. So don't stress about the open end, that's actually where it's gonna draw water up and this is where our air line is gonna to connect to. All right, so moving on to the air line, what you'll see is they've provided a nice roll of it. We actually need two lines, because if I flip this around here, the air pump has two feeds and we are going to be feeding this air stone down here and into the side of the irrigator ring at the top of the system. So what I'm gonna show you is what we have done is we have literally rolled this out and cut it exactly in half, producing these two equal lengths here. And then what we've done and what we recommend doing is just taking a small cut 
right off the end, about yay long. This can be actually as long as you want, but I'll just show you how we've done it. So we've just taken a couple small pieces like so. Um, let me just pull this one off here. And the reason we've done that is this is where we install the non-return valves. Now the idea with the non-return valves or non-siphon valves is when these are installed into the air system, should the air pump stop for any reason, it is not going to siphon water back out of your system and down into the pump. So definitely good to have these. Now you can always check which direction these are actually going by simply blowing into them. So what you're gonna do is just blow into them and make sure that they cannot return back to the pump. So in this particular case, you can almost see they're almost like an arrow shape. You want the arrow shape facing away from the pump. So in this particular case, we're just going to take that small piece of black hose. And I'm just going to install it on the air pump like so. Same story for the other piece just here. Rather straightforward. And those just slip on nice and tight. Now don't get me wrong, because we have pre-fitted these um, just earlier, they uh, have softened up a little bit and fit on just a bit easier. Don't be surprised if you've got to work with them a little bit, no trouble at all. Okay, so from there, we're going to install each end of our line. So, like so. And we are ready to feed this into the modular system. So back to our rubber grommets, we have two available spots here. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to slip these rubber hoses through, silicon hoses. I think they're actually PVC, they're reasonably firm, but what I find to be the hardest part is simply getting these hoses through this rubber grommet. They're definitely a high friction item on each other. Once you get them going, you can pretty much reach through and in and just pull it straight through, like so. Now there's no real specific requirement for how much uh, length you need inside the system. Just enough for instance the air stone to sit in the bottom of the bucket. And what we'll do, pull that through, take the air stone to the air line, push that on like so. There we go. And I'm just going to make sure there's enough length in the hose for that to sit right at the bottom of the system. Don't know if you can quite see that. It's just resting right in the middle of the system there. All right, and I've got the other air line here, which we're going to go back to our irrigation ring, the push lock fitting. Just gonna take that and push that straight in. Nice and firm and secure, and we're pretty much good to go. Drop that on there. All right, so once you've got your air line set up, you are pretty much good to go, bar the clay balls. So the bag of clay balls here are extremely dusty. We highly recommend giving these a quick rinse before you actually start to use them. Otherwise, you'll just contaminate the water and it'll go all brown and nasty and whatnot. So we're gonna show you guys what that actually looks like set up in a grow tent so you guys can have an idea of the four pot system and the single pot system as a standalone. All right, so we've taken the single module system just out to our 60 by 60 tent here. Now, this is probably the smallest tent size we could recommend for a system like this. Realistically, with the size plant, you could actually grow out of one of these. You could go right up to a one by one for a single pot. So just for uh, sake of comparison of size and get an idea of what it actually looks like, this is everything. So just the air pump down the bottom there, which we have dialed right up to full power, and the bucket system itself. So when you connect this up to a single power point, that is all you need to have the system operating at full potential, of course pH and add your nutrients to the water solution and ensure the water level is still adequate at all times. Now, for a lot of people, that is actually a significantly reduced amount of hassle when it comes to watering plants because you're effectively just gonna check that water level and make sure it is good to go. So let's just quickly take a look at the four pot system. All right, so we've set up our four pot system here in a 1990 space. Again, this is probably a bit overkill for a lot of people. It's a lot of pots for a rather small space, but for the sake of it, we've got it here just to show people what it looks like. Now, the key difference here that you'll see is the air delivery system, this air pump right here. It's got an eight-way manifold and a much higher pump system in it to supply, of course, all four pots. Now, I will mention with this system, it does actually include some valves, so you can adjust how much air you want to go into each pot. Most people probably just have it even and running at full power for all four pots. But as you can see, there's actually a little bit of a gurgling noise, or you might even be able to hear that, sorry. That gurgling noise is normal. That's just the way the system is pumping water and oxygen up to the irrigation ring. So for a lot of people, you're probably gonna leave this running full time, but it's up to you if you want to be cycling that on and off depending on what you're trying to achieve. So again, these are a very easy system to manage and really modular. So for a lot of people, if they needed to move it around, grab the handle, literally lift the thing and move it around. As long as your air lines are long enough, it's not too hard to get more air line if you did want to change things up later on. All in all, a really good system and we're expecting to see some really good results when we start growing some plants here in our showroom very soon. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, get in touch with us here at Herbals. Thanks for watching.